Welcome to the Overlay Designer Pro tutorial. To create an overlay, simply click on File, choose New, and then choose the device that you'd like to make an overlay for. For the purpose of this short video, we're going to use a SmartTalk template. Down at the bottom, you'll see your six levels, or your six overlays that you can create for your device. In order to fill in the cells with a picture and a label, you can either right click and a small window will open and you can choose to insert image. I'm going to click on insert image. And my little window will open. I can use the drop down box and choose which symbols I'd like to use. I can also import my own symbols or I can go search by going into the file mode. I can click on symbol series and change that as well and then I can just simply type in the name. Once I find the symbol that I'd like to use, I'm going to do the monkey, I can just simply hit OK and my monkey shows up. If I'd like to edit the label, I double click on the actual label and I can retype. I can also change the font size and the font type or color. Once I'm done, I click OK. As you can see now my label's changed and I have my symbol. I can also go up to the top and choose cell and do insert image that way. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to insert my image by clicking on it. I can choose to open a file if one, if, to locate a picture that's saved on my computer or I can go into the symbol library. I'm going to go into the symbol library one more time and I'm going to type in the word doll. I like this doll and I simply click OK. To go to the next overlay template I simply go to the bottom and click on the next one. As you can see now it says level 2 and so forth. If I'd like to make a visual scene, I can go to File, click New, and let's do a 128. I can do a 128 grid, 128, 128, for a visual scene. I'm not going to save the changes, but of course you'd always want to save your changes. And now I have a 128 file. I can go up to the top, and I can insert an image that will go all the way across the back if I'd like by going to edit and clicking edit background. As you can see now there's a new tab on the toolbar which it says which now says background. If I click on that and then choose insert background image it will allow me to either a look up and locate something that's saved on my computer itself. Maybe it would be a picture of your house or your play or the playground or any other thing that you'd like to make a visual scene. Or I can go into the symbol library. Let's go into the symbol library. And I'm going to choose outside. and now I'm going to say OK. And because it's a background, it now becomes part of the background and I can stretch it out and move it around if I'd like. Now as you can see the grids show up on top of it to let me know where the cell locations are so I can make my hotspots. To do that I go to edit and now I'm going to go and edit the cells. I also want to make sure that my mode is in group mode. It's going to tell me that the format will be cleared. Say yes because it will not erase your pictures. I'd like to group these cells together. Right now it thinks that there are 128 different cells. I want several of these cells to act as one. Therefore I change the mode to group mode. Now I can edit the cells by grouping. I'm going to go to cell and group a new panel will open up at the bottom. I want to be able to activate this 
boy and have him, when touched, say, I want to go outside. So I'm going to click Add Group. And then I'm going to simply left click and drag all the way down to select all of the cells that have to do with the little boy. Now I'm going to go all the way here and hit Confirm Group. This now tells the, the device to act as if those buttons are now one large button. I can then go all the way over to the left hand side and click Edit Message and record my message if I'd like. To do so, I simply right click to add my message and now I can choose to either go to the file which may be a file that's saved on my computer whether it be a sound or a digital text-to-speech message or what have you or I can rec record my own. I'm going to hit record mode. I'm going to name it. Hi. And now I'm going to record. I'm ready to go outside. I can play and listen to it and once I'm happy with the recording I click OK. Now as you can see there's a tiny little symbol of a speaker in the top corner. This lets me know that a message has been assigned to that location. You would continue in this manner until you finish making your visual scene. This is a really easy quick tutorial on Overlay Designer Pro. Good luck and have fun.